Hey, I just finished coding the most insane thing I've ever built in Minecraft. And I'm really proud of myself. It doesn't look like a lot of commands, but it's what's in the commands that's really complicated. I want to walk through and explain how it works. But first, I want to kind of just show you what it does. It's really simple in, in premise. Um, when I set my money to any number, say I set it to 60, the number on the side interpolates. So if I set it to 100, it interpolates to 100. Now, the important part is that it's not linear. If I set it to a crazy high number, it doesn't go up by ones and it slows down as it nears the number. Likewise, if I set my number back down to say seven, it slows down approaching seven. There we go. Um, now the reason why this is so important is for it, for it to uh, interpolate non-linearly, you need to make a fraction of what the difference is between the number you have and the number where you're trying to get. Um, so I have four objectives here. Um, these basically add and remove the objectives. So like the bottom one adds it, top one removes it. The objectives I've got is money, money temp, money display, money null. Now, money display is what shows up on the sidebar on my right-hand side. Money is what the actual score is that I'm setting in my hotbar. And money temp and money null are the two things I'm using um, temporarily to find out what number I need to increase by. So the first thing we do is we're going to add zero to their money and their display. So that right off the bat, any players that join the game or leave the game are added to the scoreboard and at least have a score to be tracked so that there aren't players that don't exist on the sidebar. Um, next up, we have some, we use some tags later and we're just going to reset those tags before they get used. You can put these two on the end, um, but I figure I put them at the beginning just to reset them before they even get used. So I just remove the tag uh, money remove and money add and essentially these two tags um, tell me whether or not I'm adding or removing money once I find the fraction so um, temp display so so these I think these these two right here find the um, the difference between my money and my money display so the first one, we've got scoreboard players operation uh, at s money temp equals at s money display. This is setting my score from money temp to my score to money display. So it's taking my money display and setting that score to my money temp. And then it's going to take my money temp and subtract it from my money. So um, I take whatever score is on my sidebar. Um, when I when it's interpolating, that number can be halfway to what my money is. Say for example, I'm setting a really high number. All throughout this interpolation, the the number on the sidebar is a different number than what my actual money is. So what we're doing in these two is finding out what the difference is between the money on my sidebar and the money that I'm setting. So it's gonna set my sidebar to the temp and then subtract the temp from my actual money that I'm setting there. And what, what that essentially gets is the difference between where the interpolation is at and where it's trying to get, if that makes sense so far. And then what we're going to do, uh, so we, we, um, we subtract those numbers. Uh, to find the difference, but that difference can be negative or positive. If I'm uh, setting my score to less than, when it subtracts, say, 3,000 trying to get to 7, it's going to subtract 3,000 
from seven and it's going to be like negative 2,900 and so whatever. Um, but if I'm adding, say I'm going up, it's going to be subtracting say 2,000 from 7,999. So it's going to be a positive number because you're subtracting less. So the number is going to be either negative or positive if it's going up or down. If I'm going down again, when I subtract 10,000 from 700, it's going to be a really large negative number. So I can use whether or not that score is negative or positive, and I say money remove and money add. So if their score is less than negative one, which means their score is in the negative, it means I'm going to have to add money to them later. If their score is one or greater, it means I have to remove money because their score has um, an abundance. Um, now, the reason I add the tags instead of just using that score is because I need to turn that difference into a fraction. So I'm actually, I use an uh, absolute and it basically says if their score is below zero, so if their score is in the negative, it's going to multiply that score by negative one. Um, and you'll see at the in, the end there, it says money abs, money null. That's just, uh, that's one of our null scores. That's just um, the money abs, money null is negative one. So when it does that operation, it's basically, you can just imagine that money abs, money null is saying negative one. So it's gonna execute at all players with a money temp lower than zero and um, multiply their score by negative one. And all that does is essentially make sure that anyone that is a negative score is having their score set to positive, but it's the same number, it's just positive, uh, the absolute function. Um, so now, whether or not their score was in the negative or positive, we have a tag for that. If they're, we have a positive tag and a negative tag, and now we have their score as an absolute positive. So we know the exact number and whether or not we're going to add or subtract it. Now we're going to turn that number into a fraction. And so this thing is going to do an operation, and this is another null that we're using, to um, divide the different the number the temp number that we're using by um, a number I set again in a uh, null number uh, this time I'm using 10 but I can change this number just in this command to change um, the speed that it's interpolating at right now it's doing 10 percent so say for example I set my score uh, really high every tick it's doing 10 percent of my score but if I set this lower say I set this 1% and I lower my score again, it happens almost instantaneously. Whereas if I uh, raise this, say I do a really high number and I set that back down, it's going to take a lot longer because it's doing a smaller fraction. Um, like imagine this is like one divided by one nine 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 nine. It's doing a smaller fraction, so it's going to take a lot longer. Um, I'm just going to leave it at ten. So that that this is finding the fraction by dividing their temp number by uh, this number right here, which is ten or whatever I set that to. So once we have the fraction, um, sometimes the fraction once they near the uh, the end. Say their score is 799 and we set it to 800. There's only a difference of one in that. So when we, we divide that number by 10, so you're, you're basically dividing one by 10, um, it's going to round to zero uh, because one divided by 10 is, is like a super low decimal. Um, but you can't add zero to their score and get to 800 from 799. So we actually have to add a minimum to that score. So if their if their fraction score is less than zero, we're going to set it to one, um, basically to account for fractions of numbers, so that it's always at least increasing or decreasing by one. And then the last two steps is we just um, add money to. Um, so we take anyone with the tag that had add and we add um, the fraction we now have to their score. And then we do the same 
with the remove, anyone with the tag remove gets their score removed by that fraction. So they take we take that fraction finally that we've made this whole time and we remove it from the people that have the tag remove and we add it to the people that have the tag add. Uh, yeah, this took me probably like six hours to try and figure out and reorganize and get all in the right order. Um, I'd originally, I think altogether I had like six scoreboards, but I ended up, um, just making null, uh, um, percent different objectives and just a whole lot of, uh, compacting, but yeah, I'm really proud of this and I hope you guys understood that.